Alpha, we had a first quick view onto the Huawei Ascent Mate 7. Now the final device is here and we will have a closer look. I tried it for several days and I can tell you now a little bit more about first impressions, how it is. And first of all, I want to drop that um, device and the aluminum body, really nothing, as you can see over here, not, uh, not an itch, nothing. Um, a really solid build. Uh, first impression of that very great especially of the display I have to say I tried it um, in the Sun outwards and as you can see here I'm trying to get it without any reflections it's called IPS Neo meaning it's an IPS and the Neo is meaning that it uses uh, or consumes less power than usual IPS displays we're coming to this back later on when I'm telling you uh, something about the battery but as you can see here it's uh, the viewing angle is really great. It's uh, all right uh, concerning the brightness outside and the daylight. No problem at all. I really love the display. Especially if you remind the price, at least for the smaller version with 2 GB RAM and 16 GB internal memory for 499 euros without any contract, you're getting a display that's we get, we get in millimeters, 75 by 132 millimeters, meaning you get a diagonal of 152 millimeters or 5.98 inch. That's huge. Huge. There's almost bigger just the Sony Xperia Z Ultra, for example, with 6.4 inches. So that's the same size, for example, like the Nokia Lumia 1320 or 1520, this direction, but for 499. So if you compare the price and the display size, you're getting way more for your money than usual, or to say it's roundabout concerning the price, 10% above the average of all smartphones in the last 12 months I've tested. So uh, you're getting uh, a big display for your money. Yeah, the um, uh, resolution, as you know, is 1080 by 1920. We are getting to a, a PPI of th uh, 368, that's 7% above the average roundabout like the HTC One Max, for example. Um, so now you can imagine what you're getting and you see all these tiny text over here are sharp. It's not a new record, of course, and concerning to the price, it's 20% below the average. So resolution, meaning pixel density. But nevertheless, absolutely, it's uh, no problem at all. And by the way, as you can see down here, I tried out um, the, um, the switching of the panel. Uh, you might remind that I'd have had a little bit problems on the first side on the uh, EFA. But as you can see here, with just a little practice, it's no problem at all to get um, the... Um, let's say, for example, the keyboard over here minimized to the side where you want it or back again to that normal view. It's just uh, no problem if you have a little practice uh, of that. And the other thing I wanted to show you is below this tiny little um, icon over here because with this one you can fade out the, um, the, the this this line over here with the buttons and that's helpful because normally the apps should um, take care of how this is displayed or is, if it's faded out but a lot of apps do not so you have the chance in a chance in those apps to do it by yourself and this is something um, Huawei has done before in former um, uh, devices I know but nevertheless for all who haven't seen this especially on a big device like that, that's very helpful, of course. But we can have a look, for example, to, um, let's say, Asphalt 8. I started over here so that you do not have to wait. And we're getting now a little bit closer, just to make uh, you see that the um, processor, this is, um, you might, uh, might know the high silicon, Kirin 925. Uh, by the way, for everybody who wants to see the uh, first 
video of the Mate 7 from the EFA with all the specifications, please look over here. Um, there will get um, there will get uh, you will get all your informations you want. But here we want to go to a closer look, and so you will see that the um, Kirin 925 is really great. I have done uh, some benchmarks already. For example, let's go to um, Geekbench 3, for example. As you can see here, multi-core score is 3182. That's compared to the average, again, last 12 months, all smartphones I've tested, 72% above the average. So this is a really high score. And compared to the Note 3 by Samsung, that it has uh, 2970 points over here. I know Note 4 is coming, we have to see what this will do. But nevertheless, compared to the devices now existing on the market, already this seems to be really good yeah and uh, of course a big question always with these phablets or schnitzels as i call them uh, how long uh, is resting the battery as you know this one is built in 4110 milliampere hours lithium polymer of course and this is compared to the size of the display 14 percent above average and you know display is the biggest uh, power consumer so this is a good sign and i did a runtime test as the same like with all smartphones i'm testing and there the mate 7 uh, played a full hd video on maximum brightness and flight mode 464 minutes that's very long 35 percent above the average meaning this is the fifth um, in the ranking um, this is the fifth there are just a few better and all of them have amoled displays for example galaxy s5 lg g flex so for an ips display this is an extremely good um, value especially if you think of you have a six inch display amazing this is more than double the the longer runtime than usual for the display size if you compare all these factors so that's what IPS Neo is doing, I guess, and maybe a little bit this Kirin 925 CPU that this is really low power consuming. Um, so everything great at the moment. Yeah, and I wanted to show you um, over here that you can have, let's go to the settings, for example, or at the in German. Uh, nevertheless, believe me, here we have the navigation that is this down here. If you can, uh, if you do not want this little thing down here, you can uh, swipe this out. And as you can see here, you can change the um, uh, the menu down here. If you're coming from Samsung, for example, and you're used to be uh, to have your back button uh, on the right side, you can make it down here. And this one is um, dropping down this list over here. If, especially if you think of using this device with just one hand, this might be very helpful but as you can see you can do it the way you want to uh, i'm going back to usual on this one so you have lots of settings like this this is just one example for i do not know like i felt hundreds of them <laughs> so you can uh, have your own uh, settings over uh, everywhere yeah, coming to the memory, um, last of all, um, as you know, this one is a small version with 16 gigabyte internal memory and there is net free of them 10.82 gigabyte, meaning after updating all pre-installed apps, you have 10.8 gigabyte left free memory. That's the value you should calculate with. So this is that. And you have, of course, on this side down here, that micro SD slot if you're not choosing to use that second slot for a second sim that's your decision as you remember so then you can store more over here but if not then you have this 10.8 gigabyte or if you are one of these luckies in these countries that sell the 32 gigabyte version I would and you would like to use your phone as a dual sim phone I would recommend strongly recommend to go with a 32 gigabyte so uh, that you have a lot of internal memory as far as you know because you have a 30 megapixels camera remember so uh, making lots of photos you will need this storage 
yeah, I hope this is enough for yeah a second first view to the Mate 7. Again, if you want to have um, more information on the Mate 7 basics, you will find it in this video over here. Thanks for watching. Yeah, last of all, I'm trying to get this fixed again. As you can see here, now I practiced. Yeah, here we are. Um, thanks for watching. Please remind to recommend my channel and to subscribe to it. Thanks for the advance and take care.